What's up guys, this is going to be part 2 of the start clear game over method video. Um, I was actually realizing that a couple of these methods we can't actually implement yet until we do collision detection in a future tutorial. So what we're going to do is we're just going to um, make it so it gives us some console output so we know the method is actually being called. And then we're going to call that good until the collision detection video. So in the clear method right here, we're going to add nslog. We actually haven't done nslog yet. Um, I imagine if you've had some experience with Objective-C, you know what nslog is. It basically just prints out some output to the console and it's strictly used for um, testing purposes. So um, we are going to do nslog clear method called. And in the game over method, we're gonna do nslog game over method called. So now at least it will print out some console output when these two methods are called um, and we'll implement the rest of them, the rest of their function in a future tutorial. So the clear method is called when you want to restart everything in the scene. So if you think about it, that's only going to be called when the game is over, and so the scene needs to know that the game is over. And that's where this isGameOver boolean variable comes in. So in the touchesBegan method, we're actually going to change this. You can take out this hero jump, and we're going to say else if self.isGameOver. So if it goes through here, and um, it's like the game is started, so it doesn't call this, it's gonna call this right here, and so it's gonna see if the game um, has ended. And if it has ended, we want to do self clear. And remember the touches began method is just every time you tap on the screen. So if you tap on the screen anywhere when the game is over, it's gonna call that clear method. And so if those two things aren't happening, then we're going to do the else hero jump. And um, we actually aren't going to have the game over method called until we have an obstacle. So in a future tutorial, um, you will see these two nslog messages called. Uh, that's going to be it for this video, and I will see you guys in the next one.